Hi, this is Thomas from Mars Moon Space TV. A few days ago I was uh, on Richard Hoagland's show uh, that goes on every Friday evening, Saturday morning. And it was called Celebrating Comet 67P, the final days of Rosetta. That was a great show and we were looking at some pictures and while we were looking at those pictures I just got to zoom a little bit on one of the pictures that was posted by Keith Laney and this is what I saw in that picture. Take a good look at this one and tell me what do you see. I see letters on that rock. Did someone leave a message to those that came after they were gone? If they are gone, those that probably was there because someone did this, these later didn't just create themselves and just suddenly appeared. What does it say? Who made it? That's the big question. I want to show you the, the image the, that we were looking at on Richard Hoagland's show, The Other Side of Midnight, that you can actually follow again uh, next. Uh, Friday evening, Saturday morning, uh, I'll leave a link to the show, I'll leave a link to the pictures and the Gigapan as well as. But let's have a look at the picture that I was looking at while I was listening and talking in the show. But first I want to show you where you can find the picture and where you can find the other side of midnight. You see we have the URL address up here, go to the other side of midnight.com and scroll a little bit down till you see this one here, Imagine Series Part 3, Celebrating 67P. And that's me, that's Chris, that's Robert Harrison, that's Andrew Curry, I'm a good friend with Farah and Keith Laney that, that actually uh, posted this picture we're talking about today. And Kathia, Kinthia, aka Mama Mars, sorry for not telling, uh, saying her name correct. <laughs> uh, that's, Click on this link here, celebrating 67p. And if you go to the show and listen to the show radio with pictures, this is how you can follow the show and see the pictures while we are talking live. And we're just scrolling down here to this is Kinthea's Islands and Keith Islands. Here, this is the picture we are looking at. Don't come. Let's see if we can open that one. Here we have it. I'm just gonna zoom a little bit out here. This is what it looked like. This is uh, what Keith is describing as, as a dome. It's a great picture, but it's not the actual dome I wanna look at here. That was that little rock with the letters on. And that is right here. So let's get a little bit closer. I'm doing this the old fashioned ways today, zooming in bit by bit here, have to adjust my screen as we are zooming. Is there any doubt? Is that an O and an R and an N? Is that letters as we know them or are they some kind of uh, petroglyph uh, or symbols? Uh, to me it looks like it says O, R, N, uh, I don't know the meaning of it. I, but I must admit, I, I don't think that is, is uh, actually English letters. I think that is some kind of symbol that uh, looks like something we know, but it's not because the one in the bottom I don't recognize. That could be an X, that could be a Y. Uh, I don't know. But I would like to hear you. What do you think the text on this rock is saying? Because to me, this is a text. Uh, you can disagree, you can agree. Uh, that's fine, we all have different uh, perspectives and opinions about it, but to me, this is Letters on a Rock, and I would really, really appreciate if you could give me your thoughts on what you think it might was uh, saying, uh, what was written on, on this rock. How much closer can we get here? We can get pretty close here. That does look like Letters, and it's written in a line and, and, and you can see there are two lines uh, of, of letters here. This is an awesome picture. Thank you to Keith Laney for posting that. I want to show you the Gigapan as well. The Dawn on 67P also uploaded uh, by Keith Laney. And I'm just going to change it to my full screen here. 
And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when you're zooming out. This is the area we're looking at and, and the rock we're looking at is this one over here. So let's get back to, to that rock with, with those letters on. Isn't that amazing? I cannot see anything else than letters on this rock. Written text, simple, petroglyph, call it whatever you will. But notice just to the right of those letters, take a look at this one here. Do you see that square frame here? That looks like a small hole into the underground. And there has been a lot of theories about 67P, the comet. And, and I cannot even pronounce its uh, original name, <laughs> so I just uh, stay with 67P. There have been a lot of theories about that one, and, and it is that it. One of the theories is that it should be hollow, and there could be someone inside traveling with this comet. There are a lot of people that are believing it's not a comet; it's an actual spaceship, and there are a lot of people believing in. Uh, that is just a rock, uh, fair enough, that's the way the world works, we have different perspectives and beliefs in everything. But again, take a look at this one, it actually looks like there once was a lid on here. Uh, and you can see the frame uh, that this lid was supposed to be laying in. Uh, is that a, a, an event? Uh, or is it a, sh a shaft of a kind? Or is it an entrance? I admit right here, right now, that I have no idea about the size of, of, of this uh, anomaly or the size of, of the letters, so it's not easy to say uh, that it uh, fits a human size uh, body to, to crawl into to the, this hole here. I'm not saying that because I simply don't know, but if this is an entrance or a hole of a kind, could this be something like Come on, go this way, entrance this way, <laughs> or oh, remember your mask, <laughs> or oh, don't enter without your helmet. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I am asking you. But anyway, back to the picture I posted here. This was the Gigapan, you can go find that on marsmoonspace.com, and I will leave a link to, to the Gigapan here. You have to find the link that says Rosetta 67P. Let us, and you can have a look at the Gigapan, you can have a look at uh, the picture that Keith Laney posted on uh, the other side of midnight.com. Let's go back to the original picture. That Gigapan was awesome, but here we are back at the uh, uh, picture that I posted uh, the first time here. Whew. Shouldn't that be quite clear for everybody to see that it looks like letters? I don't know. And as usual again, I am asking you, what do you think we are looking at here? Is this the proof that intelligent life was on Comet, Comet 67P? Are there inhabitants on Comet 67P? And if it is, let us, then what is, is it saying? Or what's written with these letters? I'm Thomas Maggie, you were watching Mars Moon Space TV. Until we see you again, take care. Bye.